Hey folks, I know it's been, uh, gosh, it's been months and months since I made a last video for Tales of Flipside about Comic Shop, and I'm here to explain, yeah, what the F has been happening. Um, crazy stuff, crazy, crazy stuff. Where to start, where to begin? The scars and pimples and uh, deep wounds. My CPA that I'd been, uh, that I had in hired to uh, do our finances, uh, didn't do our final sales tax quarter of last year, 22, and not our first quarter uh, of 23. I had to go into hustle scramble mode um, and try to fix all this. So what we've been doing is going back through all of our bank records, all of our uh, receipts. When I contacted the individual who had been doing, who had been our CPA, I said I needed, uh, you know, all of our stuff, and he said he didn't have it. Uh, that included my personal taxes and our corporation taxes for 2022 that should have been um, finished and sent. Uh, corporate taxes have to be in by March. Personal taxes, of course, everybody knows April 15th. You can get an extension as long as you don't owe money. Uh, you can get extended all the way out to September. None of that has been done. So that has also been a scramble. And since I do not have any of the information from last year's taxes to give to a new CPA, nobody will take me on. So I'm kind of at the um, mercy of the IRS in trying to get all that information for not only myself, but for the business. Financially, this is going to be very, very difficult. Uh, and it puts a big strain on the business. In the meantime, we had some difficulty with uh, a partner who is no longer with us. That caused some issues with uh, scheduling, being open, uh, internet sales. It was not a nice breakup, let's put it that way. Going forward, we have a new setup of people. We're scrambling to get it all together. We've gotten most everything back up and running uh, as far as getting our receipts put into the computer on QuickBooks, getting our taxes filed, uh, getting our taxes paid. We're almost paid up, uh, but it's been a lot of pressure and stress and I still work in my full-time job. I got another 15 months at that. So I'm sorry, but I didn't have time for uh, <laughs> a video for Comic Shop Talk. But uh, now that things have kind of, not exactly smoothed out, but calmed down, uh, I wanted to get out here and let people know where, where we went and that, um, you know, we still wanted to come to you and bring you information. And so here's a teaching moment. Make sure <laughs> that the CPA you hire is reputable, has a, a, a lot of uh, reviews, maybe been in business for a long time, maybe actually has an office. Try not to hire a customer uh, is what I did. I figured he was giving me business so that I would give him business. That didn't end up working out. But a good entrepreneur picks up, moves on, and do your best, right? So that's what we're doing. I think maybe if you could find somebody in, in your local neighborhood who is a bookkeeper, uh, somebody that you really could trust, uh, somebody that could do it uh, regularly. You might maybe don't even need a CPA. I found out that uh, for the large amount of money I was paying this CPA, that he was doing my uh, taxes uh, through TurboTax, <laughs> which I could have done myself um, with all the write-offs and stuff as a, that a business brings you. Um, I should have been able to itemize, and that didn't happen. So. Going forward, I've, I've learned a bunch of lessons in this and uh, hopefully I can bring them to you. Other, other things that are going on. Uh, comics are in, a, you know, everybody knows that they're in a crazy spot right now. Um, I wanna say, you know, if there's anybody in the comic book industry listening, if you wanna listen to a retailer, I think you're focusing too much on the investors and the speculators and you need to, uh, create more readers so you need to focus on your readers who later on become collectors because 
just by buying them every week, right? Uh, they end up buying long boxes and filling them and then they're collectors because they're just there, right? Um, and then those are the people that become attached, have nostalgia for and love uh, the hobby and won't leave it when the market crashes. Um, if this market crashes hard, all the speculators that you've been wooing will be gone and you'll only have the readers left and if you don't bring it to the readers there won't be enough to actually sustain uh, all of these imprints and all of these comics that we put out monthly so I would ask and beg the publishers to start focusing on your stories start focusing on your continuity if you're an editor if you're one of the new guys editing DC uh, or Marvel and you're new to the business and you think your job is to make sure that the that they say uh, that the word has changed from then to then, that ain't your gig. Your gig is continuity. Uh, writers uh, are very, I mean, some really great writers out there now and uh, their creativity goes wild sometimes. And your job is to rein it in and make sure that the continuity stays uh, intact. Um, you can, you know, now that we have multiverses, you can move, you know, there's a lot of lateral movement with multiverse, but you have to make sure that they're explaining that you know, what's happening is not in the 616 or not on Earth One. Um, and that way, when new readers come in, they understand what's going on. And when they pick up trade paperbacks, which I know the, you know, that's, you know, book sales at, uh, are one of the highest moving upward mobility in comics is the trade paperbacks and graphic novels. And uh, if you want people to go back and read those, you, you need to keep the continuity tight so when they read those, they don't have problems with your newer books. You know, I thought that, like most people getting into comics, understood that. And most people in comics are there because they love comics. It's, um, it's not really an industry where you become, too many people become rich and famous. There's a lot of jobbers. There's a lot of people that just, you know, make make middle middle class income uh, year after year, put in 30 years of writing stories that we fall in love with, and um, in almost eminent except for the the people actually in the it, that are really close in the in the comic book community. Um, I'd also ask that uh, you know that, that you do still go back and do some marketing. Um, I'm. I'm pushing hard. I'm buying way over the amount of my kids' books. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, My Little Pony, Sonic, um, all the new books coming out, Gargoyles, Darkwing Duck, uh, all, that, all that Disney stuff. I'm, I'm way over buying it. I have uh, a little bit of subscribers on it and usually, um, you know, basically in this business it's tough. You got to do subscriber plus one. But what I have found is when a kid comes in, he wants something recognizable. You know, when um, you know when Marvel was doing the XD books, and when they were doing the uh, Peter Parker and Miles and the Double Trouble, whenever those come out, they do great for me. Now, do they on Wednesday? Do they sell out? No. But over the month, from one issue to the other, as kids come in, you know, this is something recognizable. The show is on Disney Plus. You know, we, we know that the younger readers are looking at screens probably 80% of the time. And when they, if they're gonna grab something they read, they wanna grab, grab something familiar. I know a lot of the independents have tried uh, to do uh, some stuff for younger readers. And it hasn't been very successful. But I can tell you that IDW um, has been, for their kids' books, using licensed stuff has been very successful for me. And when Marvel does it, it's been very successful uh, for me. And I'm a Scalactic dealer, and when I can get um, you know some DC books like uh, from Scalactics and Marvel books from Scalactics, they also do very well for me. So, you know, I can't say this enough. I've probably said it almost on every video is that our job is to make readers. If you want your business to last a long time, readers is where it's at. Um, the exclusive game is 
maybe never going to come to an end, but I think it's, why, why don't you, you get all these great artists, why don't you just create your own comic? It, it definitely wouldn't cost you as much. You think it would cost you more, but it would, you know, if you're paying full price for, um, if you're paying full price, you know, for 3,000 Marvel books and you're sticking a different cover on it, junk. You know, it, it's, it's really, you know, it's like when uh, the car companies are sticking an Iron Man tag on, on a vehicle that they already have, you know, and then, you know, you gotta pay three or four thousand dollars more to have the Iron Man version of the car. I mean, it's still that car. It, um, you're, you're, you're adding very little value. I don't care how cool you think the cover is. Um, what you should be doing is creating a book that you can give away to kids, uh, a little ash can, um, bringing kids into the shop to do, uh, we have an art class that we do. It's in full swing again. This, this is uh, drawing Pokemon gets kids into the comic shop, you get to give them free books, uh, gets them reading. This is a community business. You, if you, if you want to sell specialty items, you know, move to the internet. You know, that's where most of your business is anyway. Um, you know, a comic shop is a community business. Um, and it does, you know, somebody wants to have a birthday party. Do I, do I advertise that I do birthday parties? No, but if somebody wants to do a birthday party, I'm, I'm all about it and um, love to have the people here. I come up with, you know, you know, if you're a shop, you have tons of stuff. You can give the kid a gift. You can give free comics. I always have stuff left over from Korea Comic Book Day. This is a, a pretty long video and I'm kind of rambling because I have had a lot of thoughts over the last four months, but I wanted to come out and uh, let you guys know what had happened, where we're going, that we're still alive. Um, I'm not looking for any money. <laughs> I'm not looking uh, to start a GoFundMe or Indiegogo or anything like that. Um, I just believe that this community is uh, suffering a lot and I, I wanna make sure that we keep, keep going. So, you know, get out there, open a comic book shop, uh, make a little living be really happy. Take care. Oh, and keep reading comics.